Hello everyone and welcome back to One Arm Robber. In today's video, I'm going to show you three different ways to loot the Museum Heist stealthily. And those methods being the noob way for all those players that are first starting out, the pro way for all those players that have some experience, and the expert way for all those players that just want to have a challenge. And the first method we're going to start with is the noob way, and the only tools that you'll need is a lockpick and a suppressed weapon. So without further ado, let's get this one started. So when we first start this heist, you want to grab your kit, Grab a duffel bag and your lockpick, and then from the truck, you want to head to the front of the museum. Once we get to the front of the museum, take out your lockpick and unlock the front door. After unlocking the front door, we're going to head inside, hide behind this crate. And now what we need to do is wait until this guard comes back to his original position and turns his back to us. Once this guard starts walking back, he'll turn his back to us like so. Grab your lockpick and unlock this door to the left here. After unlocking this door, we're gonna head inside, close the door right behind us. Walk down the hallway, take out your suppressed weapon, take out this guard, grab his phone, and do the check-in in the hallway. After doing that, we're gonna grab a duffel bag, head down this hallway, and take out our lockpick, and unlock the door to the left to the manager's office. Once we unlock the door to the manager's office, we're gonna head inside, grab the utility key card off the desk, place it back inside our duffel bag, head back down the hallway to the same door that we came through. What we're gonna do now is just open up this door, make sure that no guard is watching. If there is, we're gonna wait until he turns around. And once he turns around, we're gonna take our bag, go out the door, close this door right behind us, take our duffel bag and head out the front of the museum. Once we're outside the museum, we're gonna head to the back of the museum by going around the outside. Once we get to the back of the museum, we're going to take out our lockpick and unlock the first door that we see on the left here. After unlocking this door, we're going to open it, but we're not going to go inside just quite yet because very shortly a guard's going to enter this break room, so we're going to wait until he completes his route. Be careful not to get spotted by him, he'll turn around like so, so make sure you break his line of sight. Once he does that, we're going to sneak in right behind him, wait for him to move, follow right behind him, take out our lockpick and unlock the door to the basement. After unlocking the door, take the utility key card, come down these stairs. Make sure the camera's not looking, wait for it to turn. Once it turns, head over to the utility room, scan the card. Turn off the alarm, and now we're going to hide underneath this camera, and we're going to wait until it turns yet again. Once the camera turns, head upstairs. Now at the top of the staircase, we're going to make sure that no one's looking. If no one is, grab your duffel bag go through the break room and go back outside. Now we can unlock the door that was on the right back here. After we unlock this door, we're gonna open up this door, take out our suppressed weapon, shoot this camera in the upper right, a guard should get alerted, we'll take him out like so, grab his phone and do the check-in over here. Just to be safe, we're gonna take this guard's body, drag him outside and to the right here. The next step is to grab our duffel bag, head over to the security room, Take out our lockpick and unlock the security room door. After unlocking this door, take out the guard, grab his phone, and we're gonna do the check-in in the break room now. After doing this, we're gonna close the door to the break room, head back inside, grab our duffel bag, take the duffel bag upstairs, and unlock the door at the top of the staircase. Now, after taking out the guard in the security room, we don't have to worry about cameras throughout the rest of the heist. After unlocking this door at the top of the staircase, we're gonna open it, take out our suppressed weapon, shoot this guard on the right, grab his phone, jump over the railing, and do the check-in in the security room. And now we don't have to worry about cameras or guards the rest of the heist. Now we're gonna go upstairs, grab our duffel bag, jump over the railing, and since we're on the inside of this, we can actually unlock this door by just clicking the lock and open it freely. Now you can shoot these display cases like this, and no guards will get alerted. Or if you want a little bit more XP towards levels and skills, unlock them with your lockpick. After you unlock all the display cases, you're gonna grab this cart and place all the art pieces on this cart. Now, once we have all the art pieces back on the cart, what we're gonna do is open up this door to make it a little bit wider. You wanna grab the cart, go through the double doors, go out the door that we came through earlier backwards to make it a little bit easier, like so. And once we're outside, we're gonna take the same route to get to the front of the museum so we can get back to our truck, which is right in front of us. And once we get back to the truck, we can end the heist. 
And this was the new way of looting the Museum Heist stealthily. And now onto the pro method, and the only tools that you'll need for the pro method is a lockpick and a battering ram. For this method, you want to grab your kit, grab your duffel bag, along with your lockpick and your battering ram. Then from the truck, you want to take it immediate right, and instead of going to the front of the museum, we're going to head straight to the back of the museum. Once we get to the back of the museum, take out your battering ram, break open this first door to the break room, sprint through this next door, and break open the door to the basement. After doing so, head down these stairs, but don't forget about the camera at the bottom of the staircase, wait for it to turn, and head over to the utility room. Once it does, break open the utility room door, and turn off the alarm. If you're fast enough, sneak underneath this camera and head back upstairs. Once at the top of the staircase, what we're going to do next is wait until a guard passes from the left side to the right side. Once he does, sneak in right behind him, open up the break room door, go through the break room, go outside, grab our duffel bag, and take it over to this next door. Take out your lockpick and unlock this door. After we do that, we're going to go inside, hug the left side, open up this door, take out this first camera like so, take out the next camera and take out this guard, grab his phone, and do the check-in in the break room. Once we do that, we're going to head back outside, grab our duffel bag along with our lockpick, head over to the security room, and unlock the security room door. After doing so, take out the guard, grab his phone, and do the check-in. Once we do that, we're going to take our bag, head up these stairs, take out our lockpick, and unlock the door at the top of the staircase. Once we do that, we're going to go inside, take out the guard that's patrolling in here, grab his phone, and do the check-in at the bottom of the staircase. Once we do all that, we don't have to worry about cameras or guards the rest of the heist, and we can get to looting. And like before, you can either shoot the display cases, or you can unlock them with your lockpick for extra XP. And once your cart's finally loaded up, open up the store, take the cart, go out the double doors, go backwards through this door to the outside, and once we're outside, it's the same route as before in the other method. Go around the outside of the museum, and it's a straight shot back to the truck. And once we get back to the truck, we can end the heist. And this was the pro method of looting the museum heist stealthily using a lockpick and a battering ram. Now onto the final method, the expert method. And the only tools that you'll need for this method is a lockpick and a hacking device. When we first start this heist, you want to grab your kit along with your duffel bag and a lockpick and a hacking device. Then from the truck, you want to head to the front of the museum. The only thing that's going to be different when we do this method is we're going to take all the loot out the front door of the museum. So once we make it to the front door of the museum, take out your lockpick and unlock the front door. After doing so, we're going to head inside, right behind this guard, behind these crates, take out our lockpick and unlock the side door. After unlocking the side door, we're going to open it, take out our gun, and we're going to take out the camera along the wall here. Doing so should not alert any of the guards. Our next step is to wait until this guard comes back over here and turns his back to us. Once he does, take him out, grab his phone, and do the check-in in the hallway. After doing so, we're going to grab the guard's body and drag it into the corner here. Once we do that, we're going to grab the duffel bag, hide underneath this camera, and we're going to wait here, and our next step is to wait until this guard gets a little bit closer before we destroy this camera. So once the guard gets about right here, destroy the camera, he should get alerted. We're gonna wait a little bit. And now we're gonna take him out, grab his phone, and do the check-in on the main desk. Once we do that, we're gonna grab the guard's body and drag it with the other. After doing so, we're gonna close this door, go back to our duffel bag, grab it, head over here, place our duffel bag down right here, grab our gun, and take out both these cameras. Next, we're going to take out the guard that gets alerted by it, like so, grab his phone, and do the check-in in the break room. Once we do that, we're going to grab this guard's body and drag it into the break room itself. Once we do that, we're going to go back to our duffel bag, And we're going to take our duffel bag and head to the basement door. Once we get to the basement door, we're going to take out our lockpick, 
and unlock the basement door. After unlocking the basement door, we're gonna grab our hacking device, head down these stairs, and be sure not to get spotted by the camera at the bottom of the staircase. Next, we're gonna take our hacking device and hack the utility room door. After hacking the utility room door, we're done with the hacking device. Turn off the alarm, hide underneath this camera, and we're gonna wait until it turns yet again. After the camera turns, head back upstairs, grab our duffel bag, which has our lock pick, head to the break room, open up the back door like so, and head over to the other door and unlock it with your lock pick. After we unlock it, we're gonna open up this door, hang a left, open up this middle door, take out this camera, wait for the guard to pass by, take out this other camera, and take out the guard. We're gonna grab his phone and do the check-in over here. Now, after we do that, we're gonna take our lock pick and unlock the door to the security room. After unlocking the door to the security room, we're not gonna take out the guard. Instead, we're gonna open up the door just like this, take our lock pick, go upstairs, and unlock the door at the top of the staircase. If the guard is in this position, we're gonna wait until he turns before we open up the door. Once he starts moving, open up the door, take out this camera, and then we're gonna take out the guard. After taking out this guard, we're gonna grab his phone, and we're gonna jump over the railing and do the check-in in the security room. After doing this, we're gonna close the door, and now we shouldn't have to worry about cameras or guards the rest of the heist. So simply grab your lockpick, jump over the railing, unlock this door, and like before, you can either shoot the display cases or you can unlock them with your lockpick for more XP. Now, once you have everything looted up, instead of going out the back way, we're gonna grab our cart, and head out the front door. Simply go out the bar door, past the front desk, and since we don't have to worry about any guards through the main hallway, we can go out the front door. Just make sure the side door is open so you have more room. Take the cart, go out the front door, and now it's just a straight shot back to the truck. And once we get back to the truck, we can end the heist. And this was the expert method of looting the museum heist stealthily using a lockpick and hacking device. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to help the channel grow. If you want to see a funny video, click the video on the left. If you want to see more tutorial videos, click the video on the right. And like always, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next video.